LG have just released a new set of earbuds. These are the LG Tone Free FN6 earbuds. Now they're priced around about 150 pounds or 150 US dollars, but do check your local markets as LG do promotions from time to time. Now they come in both black and white, and these are the first to have the same Meridian technology as the XBIM Go Bluetooth speakers that you'll see behind me there. You'll also maybe see them in Jaguars and Land Rovers as well, on top of Meridian there. They have a rather unique charging cradle, these earbuds, which actually kill 99.9% .9 of bacteria when the buds are in the charging case well connected to power, which I think about is pretty important in this current climate. Now, battery-wise, they have 18 hours of battery life, six with the earbuds and another further 12 from the charging case. Now, they're also supposed to be the most comfortable earbuds ever and that's because of the medical grade gel that actually conforms to your ears. They have an ambient sound function which lets you hear the world around you and also call clarity which uses two microphones one which analyzes the noise around you and the other to amplify your voice resulting in clearer voice calls. They're IPX4 resistant to water. They have a brand new app which lets you customize the earbuds more than ever including custom EQ settings resulting in even better sound and they have a find my earbud function and if that's not enough they have a brand new design but are they any good? Well we will be going over all these points in this video. Right let's first talk about the charging case. Now this has the UV LED function which according to their website kills 99.9% .9 of bacteria in just 10 minutes of charging. But only while the earbuds are in the charging case and they are connected to power. Now you may see the blue light there, you may not see it, but that is actually just for effect. The UV function doesn't actually take place until the earbuds are in here and they are closed because the UV is actually invisible. To be honest with you, it's never a feature that I've seen in any other earbuds. It's nice to have it, um, especially as I say, in this current climate. Now, I mentioned the battery life is 18 hours which is actually less than Apple AirPods Pro, which have 24, but these have six hours in one charge compared to the three and a half hours that the AirPods Pros have. And in my testing, I pretty much can confirm that, I would say that's pretty accurate without actually testing it for six hours. But what I can say is that they never really ran out of power because just every few days I put them on my wireless powering mat and uh, gave them a little charge, so I never really had to think about battery life. I was pretty happy. Now, I mentioned that these were supposed to be the most comfortable, and I must admit, I did find them comfortable. Well, as comfortable as in-ear buds can be. When I'm saying that, I was using just one earbud at a time, and to be honest with you, I actually forgot I was wearing them sometimes when I was just wearing the one, when you're wearing the two, you do know they've got them in because your hearing is muffled, so you can't get away with that. But if you've got one in at a time, you can actually forget that you're wearing them. They are pretty comfortable and they didn't fall out at all, which is something I can't really say for the Apple variety. Now, they do have an ambient sound feature. When it's turned on, you can hear the world around you, but you can also hear your own voice. I found it to be a little bit annoying. It certainly doesn't give you super hearing. I guess it's got its uses for in public announcements, you know, when you're in public transport when commuting but I just found it was a feature that I always turned it off because I could actually hear my voice in my ear as if it was repeating itself to me but obviously it was zero latency but it was just a bit weird. Now call quality these are supposed to have the best call quality around and I must admit they are very good uh, better than the Apple variety I must say they've got two microphones now one is at the top here one there and the other one is here this one is supposed to uh, analyze the outside music or the outside noise i should say and drown it out and this one is supposed to amplify your voice now i can confirm that when i was using these as voice calls 
and his FaceTime. The people that I was talking to were very, very impressed and they actually asked me how my sound was so good. So yes, I can confirm that I was very impressed with the call quality when it came to these earbuds. Now I do want to show you the app, but I want to talk about the sound first when it comes to music, because let's face it, that's why we buy earbuds. Now, the sound from these are good. I would say they're better than the AirPods. Whether they're better than the AirPods Pro, I don't think so. I think there's not much in it though, considering these are £100 less. They have plenty of bass and you can configure the EQ in the app, which is a really good feature. I just thought when it came down to the fine details, they just lacked in that department when you're comparing it to the AirPods Pro but there's so little in it. In fact, I found that I was actually picking these up more than my, my Apple variety because of the comfort. The sound wise, they're very, very good anyway, but they're much more comfortable and they do not fall out. That is just me. Uh, so that's why I ended up picking these up more often than I probably should because I use iPhones and a lot of uh, Apple products. Now I must mention that these do not have noise cancellation but what it's known as noise isolation. Well, noise isolation is literally how well they fit in your ears and they create a kind of seal because literally noise isolation is putting cotton wool in your ears. It's the exact same thing. So that's what I mean by when you've got them both in your ears, then the outside world is muffled, but that's just because of the seal, the really good seal that uh, these give you. Now connectivity, these work as well as any of your earbuds I've used in terms of connectivity. They really are fast, they're reliable, it remembers the last device it's connected to every time by the way and very quickly too. Now to pair them up, oh, it's the usual deal, you just long press the little button on the side here and turn on your Bluetooth and they're pretty quickly will find and then connect. It's not perfect. Occasionally I've had to reconnect them, but then that may be a hardware issue because I had to do that with any earbuds, even the, the Apple variety. Uh, so that may be a hardware condition of my iPhone more than anything else. So I certainly can't complain when it comes to connectivity that are as good as it gets at the moment. So anyway, let's have a look at the app because you can actually customize them quite a bit in the app. Okay, let's connect them up. She's told me I'm connected. Now, are you going to connect? Because sometimes this doesn't connect up. At the moment, it isn't actually connecting, so this might be a little bug. It's saying no headset is available. Uh, so there is definitely still bugs with this app, although this app pretty much isn't beta. It's just been, um, just really started. So let's, or it's literally just come on the market, I should say. Let's uh, try and connect them again. Right, I'll just take one of them out now. It has connected up. I'm happy to confirm. Right, first of all, this is what we see is the battery level of each earbuds, which is a mo moment is 100%. Then we've got a uh, touchpad settings where you can actually customize how you um, use the touch settings, I guess. Right, the only ones that you can actually customize are the touch twice and the touch three times. So if you click on touch twice, you can change them to voice command, volume up, previous, um, and the touch three times, again, it's the same options. Now it's exactly the same with the right one as well. Uh, same functionality that you can change. Uh, next is find my earbuds, which is really, really handy. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this out because what will happen is um, you will hear it in my ear and you're not supposed to do that. So if I click on the right one, it should make a sound. I'm gonna put it up onto my lavalier mic, see if you can hear it. And it does get louder and louder. So there you go. Very handy. I'm just gonna stop that now. Then we've got volume, we've got also got a user manual, tell you all about the earbuds, uh, the earbuds. Then we've got ambient sound, you can turn that on or off. You can also do it with a long press as well, um, but I will just certainly turn that off, but you can also turn it up to 100% or if you don't want it as much, turn it down a little bit. Then you've got your equalizer settings, you've got some presets there, 
fairly self-explanatory and then we've got the custom one so what we do is just click on one of the customs there's ones that I've already made before now if you want to do custom 2 you click on the edit here and then it's just a case of moving it wherever you want it to go really cool then we've got notification settings I've got to be honest I have never had that work so I really don't know what that's for but you can change the speech rate basically then you've got a touchpad lock uh, then you've got your software update and you've also got intelligent sorting now when that is turned on it sorts them automatically by analyzing your usage patterns so if it's turned off you can drag them and move them to any location you want so basically if I turn that off and I want to move the let's see if I want to move where I put the volume volumes we down at the bottom now so if I want to move that up to the top I can just do that if I want to move the touchpad settings down a bit I can do that which is pretty cool and there you go that is pretty much your app it's pretty good app it's still I would say in beta it still needs a little bit of the bugs taken out of it but it's brand new so really what can you expect another thing what you can do with this is do a software update as well for your earbuds so uh, that's where you'd find it in the app so who are these for well to be honest with you, they could pretty much suit everybody um, these are a quality set of earbuds they're ideal for commuting not so much for plane trips as they don't have the noise cancellation uh, but they do really connect to any device that I have connected them to. It really comes down to what are you going to connect them to. If you have got Apple products, for example, I would still go for the AirPods just for their unrivaled connectivity with other Apple products, which is only going to get better with the new updates that are coming from Apple. Saying that, if it's anything else that you're going to connect these to, then they are very much worth considering. Very much so, I was really was impressed by the all-roundness. <laughs> they are an all-round uh, good earbud, I guess. Anyway, I hope you liked this video. Please drop a like if you did. Subscribe if you even liked it even more. And subscribe for more videos, and I will see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.